Hey friends, Pastor Bill Walden here with Build Up the Church. God bless you. Hope you're doing great. This is a devotional word for August 16th, 2024, out of the book of Romans, chapter 16, last chapter in the book. The Apostle Paul here is uh, saying his goodbyes and his sending his greetings. We remember that Romans is a letter to a group of people, a group of Christians that lived in Rome. And so Paul is simply uh, sending well wishes and, and basically sending greetings to people. In Romans chapter 16, there are 35 names that Paul uh, speaks of, people that he knows personally. Um, most of them are greet, greet this person, greet that person, and then there's about seven or eight people that are with him. Um, he speaks of greet the people in this church, <clears throat> greet the people in that household. So the Apostle Paul, besides saying or writing 35 names uh, that he knows personally, he also knows people in local church congregation as a, congregations and people in certain households. And my point is this, Christianity is a team sport. <laughs> We are not to live out the Christian life in isolation. There's nothing in the Bible that supports that kind of thinking. Now, absolutely, we need alone times, and Jesus had his alone times. Uh, he'd get up early in the morning and pray, and at times he would take his, or seek to take his disciples on a little time of rest and, and refreshment, a little bit of a retreat. But the Bible never teaches the New Testament Christian uh, to live in isolation or just to live with people that we like. In Romans 14 and 15, the Apostle Paul had been writing to them about getting along with Christians that you disagree with. And so there's two ways to, or maybe three ways, two ways for sure of dealing with people uh, that you disagree with. Number one, you can force them or try to force them to um, agree with you. Or you can just abandon them and not have anything to do with them. Actually, there are three ways. The third way is this, love them anyway. <laughs> and if you think about the mind and the life of the Apostle Paul, what a brilliant mind. He thought like a lawyer. He anticipated people's arguments. He was a, a expert theologian. He, he could bring forth Jesus Christ from the Old Testament. He was gifted. He did miracles. God did miracles through him. He sacrificed himself like no other except for the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul could have easily said to many people, you guys just don't get it. You guys just don't understand or you don't know what it's like. I mean, he could have found reasons to isolate, having to put up with people that maybe thought uh, serving Jesus was so hard. And Paul would say, uh, <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about, that kind of thing. He could have found reasons to isolate. That's my, that's my point. I am by nature uh, an introvert. I love my alone time. And I take some alone time. But my alone time makes me more fit and more ready and more eager to be with other Christians. So Christianity is a team sport. Romans 16, Paul names 35 different names, first names, plus people in the households and in the churches. The Bible calls the body of Christ one body, Romans 12, 4, for as we have many members in one body, Romans 12, 5, so we being many are one body. 1 Corinthians 10, 17, for we, though, though many, are one bread and one body. 1 Corinthians 12, 12, for as the body is one, it has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. 1 Corinthians 12, 13, For by one Spirit we are baptized into one body. 1 Corinthians 12, 14, For in fact the body is not one member, but many. 1 Corinthians 12, 20, But now indeed there are many members, yet one body. And it just goes on and on. What's my point? You already, got my, you already heard my point. <laughs> Christianity is a team sport. I use that phrase a little bit humorously, 
But Christianity is to be lived out truly in communion and in group living. Yes, there are times of isolation. Yes, there are times when we get away. But if your normal way of living out the Christian life is to live in isolation, I think the Bible, if you do a deep dive study on it, would show you that, that that's an incorrect way of thinking. Jesus Christ has one body, different parts of the body, the hands, the feet, the eyes, the mouth, uh, the ears, all these different parts of the body. We function together for the mutual benefit and mutual edification, one with another. And then as one body, we serve Jesus Christ working together, working through our differences, loving one another, purposing to put no stumbling block and pursuing the things that make for peace. So no isolation. Christianity is a team sport. Some things to think about. Thanks.